So when we're talking about retinol and using a vitamin A in order to increase how quickly your skin cells metabolize, that can also lead to an increase in photosensitivity. So we do have to be mindful and careful about what type of retinol we are using for the summer. It is my professional recommendation, just based on the seasonal activity of us New Englanders, is to scale back and come off of high-potency retinols throughout the summer just to avoid that unnecessary photosensitivity, that heat stimulation, that inflammatory response in the skin. So it is a good idea to dial it back, and I would encourage you all to consult with your own esthetician for the recommendations of what is going to be the most appropriate for you. If the recommendation is to come off of your retinols, there's a really great opportunity to work with some non-retinol alternatives. For example, retinol-free solutions can include vitamin C is a really powerhouse antioxidant that's in a lot of our skincare. So vitamin C is a great option. Bright Alive Skin Brightener is also a really great option for those of you using the Zio Skin Health line. A couple others that I really like, I have some examples here. The Alto Advanced, I just started using this about a week ago. I opened a new bottle and absolutely love it for daytime antioxidant protection from the Skin Better Science line. Another favorite of mine that has been in my protocol for years now is the Zio Daily Power Defense. This is one of their hero products that gives not only great antioxidant benefits to the skin, but is also going to help keep your moisture barrier intact and keep your skin really hydrated and protected. So Daily Power Defense is one of them. And for those of you gentlemen out there, which hopefully you are tuning into this podcast, right? It's not just for the chicks. It's definitely for the guys too. Skin Better Science puts out this fantastic men's product. My husband can attest to it. The Solo Men's Defense. This is a great product to put on your skin every morning underneath your sun protection. So the antioxidants are really an important ingredient in really any skincare. It's not just age management. It's for all skin in general. And what they do, they're an ingredient that helps to protect that oxidative stress and free radical damage that we get from the UV exposure, right? The UVA rays and the UVB rays of the sun, along with just environmental pollutants. So Just as it's important to eat your antioxidants, all those rich berries and dark leafy greens because it's good for your body, it's just as important to make sure that we're feeding and nourishing our skin with the same type of ingredients, right? So that is also going to help to just defend your skin against premature signs of aging. So who doesn't want that? So that's my elevator pitch on the importance of antioxidants, and we can certainly help to prescribe a more individual recommendation based on your skin type, your skin conditions, and then, of course, your skin concerns. So after that, let's move into the retinols, okay? So those of you that have been working with some of the Zio Skin Retinols, the retinol skin brighteners that level from the 0.25 all the way up to the 1.0, we can help you navigate through. Maybe you don't want to come off your retinol, right? Maybe you're really excited about the results that you've gotten with retinol. It's helping to keep your skin smooth. It's clearing up your acne. It's refining your pores. It's minimizing your fine lines. And you can't even think about going off of it because you don't want to go backwards, right? You want to keep your skin looking rejuvenated and healthy. And you put all that work into it. So we certainly don't want to go backwards. You can scale back on the retinol, right? You don't have to necessarily come off of it completely. You can scale down the dosing. Most of these products, the recommended dosing is two pumps of product for your entire face. You can cut that in half and do a little bit of a micro dose with your retinol where you're just putting on one pump of the product. You can scale back to use it maybe a few times a week instead of on a nightly basis. The other alternative there is to work with something that's a more gentle chemical exfoliation and not something that's formulated as aggressively as a retinol. You can work with a glycolic acid, a lactic acid, a kojic acid. So those are a little bit more gentle alpha hydroxy acid approach to keep that chemical exfoliation and that cellular metabolism moving and shaking throughout the summer without that increase in photosensitivity. 
I also do recommend for some of the higher potency retinols that maybe they get tucked away until after the summer months, right? You don't have to get rid of it, but you can certainly tuck it away until the summer months are over and you're ready to get back into more advanced exfoliation in the fall where maybe you want to pick up again on your pigment correction, your acne control, or whatever your situation may be. So those higher potency retinols, we do have to be mindful and careful of how often you are putting them on your skin and certainly the dosing of what you're treating your skin with every night.